and welcome to another Beer the Geek toy review in today's second 500th subscriber special video. We're looking at the brand new B&M exclusive First Doctor electronic TARDIS set. Stay tuned. Oh, I don't think so. No. <laughs> Dear me, no. You may be a doctor, but I am the doctor. The original, you might say. Welcome back to the channel and once again thank you very much for all your support with the channel. We've hit the 500 subscribers mark, hence why I'm putting out two videos today. Earlier you would have seen that we've uploaded the Star Wars Black Series Darth Vader electronic helmet uh, video. Please check that out. Uh, and now we're going to be looking at the uh, latest B&M TARDIS set. Now this is different than previous B&M TARDIS sets because this is actually an electronic FX one. Uh, which B&M haven't done before. Um, there was a previous character options uh, electronic TARDIS set which was the second Doctor. Uh, which was only available exclusively by their website and sold out very 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 quickly. Uh, there is a video in my list of Doctor Who videos for that. And I've said there's quite a few other videos as well for other TARDIS sets that B&M have done. As well as one for the um, 13th Doctor TARDIS set, which is this one over here. Uh, but this one is the first Doctor uh, TARDIS set. And it's the first one to include the likeness of actor David Bradley as the first Doctor. Now... For those of you who don't know, the first Doctor was originally played by actor William Hartnell when the show first aired in November 1963. And he played the role through to uh, October um, 1966. So just nearly three years that he did it for. And unfortunately, he had to turn the role down um, in that uh, beginning of that fourth series due to ill health. And Patrick Triton then took over as the second Doctor and then history was made with the changing face of Doctor Who. Um, in the show's 50th anniversary, back in 2013, uh, Mark Gatiss wrote a drama documentary all about the history of how Doctor Who came about. And the actor David Bradley, probably best known as the uh, Crawshanks, the caretaker from the Harry Potter movies, but also he's been in like lots of other stuff like Games of Thrones, a very good actor. Um, he was portraying William Hartnell and they also had some kind of like redone um, film inserts of him as uh, the first Doctor from episodes. Uh, then fast forward through to 2017 uh, for Peter Capaldi's final episode, Twice Upon a Time, which went out that Christmas. Um, David Bradley reprised the role as the first Doctor. And then recently, just a couple of weeks ago, for Jodie Whittaker's last episode, The Power of the Doctor, he also reprised the role as the first Doctor as well in that. So um, it's good to have another variant of the first Doctor. And it's nice to see uh, a, another actor who's portrayed the part uh, in figure form. But without further ado, let's have a close look at the patch, uh, packaging, even, and uh, we will uh, then have a look at the TARDIS and the figure. So sorry. I don't suppose either of you is a doctor. You're trying to find. So here we have the First Doctor and Electronic TARDIS Collector's Series set with light and sound effects. So uh, this is from B&M, retails at $24.99. Now in a brand new development, yeah, you can actually buy this online when it's in stock on the B&M website uh, rather than go to stores. However, stock is very, very sporadic and it only pops up every so often. Um, so you do have to basically sign up for their email notification system to get notified whenever they then get um, stock back in. Um, so if you don't have a B&M near you, um, that's a great development because uh, you've got a better chance of getting it when it's in stock. Uh, or you can find it in stores and they're starting to hit stores now, uh, as well as the other wave 
uh, which was uh, announced a couple of weeks ago. Now, the first thing you're going to notice here is the brand new packaging. So, as you can see, woo um, there's less pa plastic, um, which I think is a really nice development. And as soon as I saw this, I just thought, well, you know, why haven't Hasbro done this? Yes, you know, the figure's are out on display, but he's in a, in a like a bit of a plastic bubble. Uh, yes, the TARDIS is in a little bit of plastic there. But if you really want to cut down on plastic, um, I think this is an ideal way of doing it rather than the way that Hasbro have chosen where you don't get to see the contents of what's in the package at all. So hopefully this is going to be uh, the new style going forward. Uh, so there you go, it says features the first Doctor as played by David Bradley. It's in the similar style of the current packaging. Now, with um, the recent announcement of obviously David Tennant returning to the role as the 14th Doctor and Shuti Gatwa, who will be taking over as the 15th Doctor, for the 60th anniversary, we have reverted to the Diamond logo, which was used in the John Purby and tom baker era of the show um now whether that's going to start propping up on um propping up or even popping up of on packaging we don't know yet it is in the recently announced um regeneration set that character are selling exclusively on their website and i did do a story on that with a link of how to buy it but for the meantime we have the current or the the, the Jodie Whittaker era logo on here and then you've got um lots of um bump about the first doctor on the back and obviously this then just uh, describes obviously that this is the first doctor as played by David Bradley in uh, an adventure in space and time and then up further and the twice upon a time uh, so obviously he wasn't giving any spoilers away by telling you that David Bradley was also then appearing as uh, uh, the first Doctor in The Power of the Doctor. So there's the there's the brand new packaging. Uh, I really like it. Uh, and like I say, less plastic, always good for the environment. But uh, without further ado, let's get the actual uh, figure and TARDIS out. Let's see what it looks like. So once you've got it out of the packaging, uh, you can see that it does come with a, like a little bit of a like inner cardboard packaging, and as usual with these tardy sets, it is screwed in at the bottom there. So we are going to have to. Well, there's the button for the tardy. I don't think it comes with batteries. Just double check. No. Um, yeah. So we're going to have to uh, get a screwdriver on that. Uh, to release the actual TARDIS itself and obviously with it being an electronic TARDIS it does come with a little instruction booklet which obviously will tell you how to uh, insert the batteries in the rear compartment and obviously again shows you the operation of the doors and what you can do with Take off, landing, sound effects and lights, and obviously the sleep mode as well. So, let's get the old sonic screwdriver out. And let's get this out of the packaging. Oh, doesn't seem to be working. Okay, let's just go with a conventional uh, screwdriver then. Uh, to be fair, they cut out all the jokes. Now, I've got them out of the packaging here. Uh, just before we um, obviously put the batteries in and have a look at the TARDIS, um, it was a bit of a bugger to get out. Um, but I can see uh, that uh, character have gone back with the thicker plastic um, protection for the doors rather than the sellotape um, because... Some of the other BMM releases, the sellotape did, in some instances, um, almost take off the paint on the plastic, uh, which isn't ideal. So it's good that they've gone with this clear, non-sticky um, plastic there, which you could just cut away. 
which is there just to hold the doors in place. Uh, both of them are out of the box. So first of all, let's have a quick look at the uh, David Bradley First Doctor figure. So if you can have a look at that, very, very good likeness of the actor there. And not a too bad paint job, actually. Uh, does actually capture the actor very, very well. Um, this is very similar in style to how the character uh, appeared in An Unearthly Child in that very first episode. And this is obviously William Hartnell's first Doctor body with just a, a new head sculpt. Um, when the original First Doctor Electronic TARDIS was uh, released, or oh, way back in around about 2010, 8, 2010, I think, uh, it did come with this body uh, and with Hartnell wearing uh, the little Afghan kind of hat. I think it's an Afghan hat. I'm quite sure. With the scarf as well, but obviously different uh, colouring with the scarf. Um, the paint job's a little bit sloppy around the top, but, uh, you know, obviously if you, if you can have it on display like that, you're not really going to see it too much. But it's nothing that detracts too much from the actual figure itself. It's got standard articulation, because uh, it's exactly the same to the figure. Uh, the only thing I'm going to obviously complain or find fault at is obviously this top bit here, oh, which isn't painted at all. And on the previous figure, which I do have somewhere, but it's deep in storage, uh, the necktie and the shirt underneath were actually painted, and that doesn't seem to be the case here. Uh, so I'm just a little bit disappointed there, but we have a David Bradley first Doctor figure. So there he is. Okay, so we'll just put him to the side and we will have a closer look at the TARDIS. Now, I love this blue uh, that this TARDIS is in. Accurate to how the prop appeared in an adventure with In Space and Time and lovely bit of weathering around the prop itself. Uh, nice weathering on the top, uh, which you can probably just see a little bit better if I just curve it away from the light. So, yeah, really do like this. Now, at the back, you've got the compartment here for the batteries, which we'll open and put in shortly. Uh, and there's not really else that's notable. Obviously, the door's pinged open, well, they would do, and then you just move the door back like that, and then press that button there, and that springs that one back. The only other notable thing that I would comment on is this here, which is the St John's Ambulance Badge, which is obviously worn and probably accurate to how the prop appeared. Obviously, it had the St. John's Ambulance uh, badge back uh, when the prop was more or less brand new um, in the original series. And then, obviously, through time, it just wore away. Um, it was redone um, towards the end of Hartnell's uh, time, but then um, painted over. So this is kind of like giving out an accurate representation of, obviously, what it is there. And also... Um, I believe I've read somewhere that St John's Ambulance have actually asked the BBC not to put the badge on in in, um, in their merchandise of the TARDIS. So uh, that's obviously another reason why it's, it's only partial there, so you can't actually make out what it is. Um, and only, if you're only a fan and you've only seen the episodes, then that's why you're going to like know what that actually is there. So there's the TARDIS. Uh, another excellent... Uh, model using the um, same structure and base as previous ones but obviously the roofing is different which we've got there actually let's just tilt that up a little bit so 
yeah the roofing is stacked slightly and i will do a comparison shot of the tardis with the original first doctor electronic tardis as well just to give you an idea of obviously what that uh, looks like in comparison but let's get these batteries in and have a look at it in electronic fx mode Now, just before we put the batteries in, just to make note there, it is a very, very small screw with a very, very small screw. Um, there. So you're going to need a very kind of like small screw head. One to actually get in there, otherwise you are going to damage the thread, uh, which is something that I've done with the original First Doctor uh, TARDIS set, because uh, I used a bigger screwdriver, so I uh, you know, actually can't get into the thing. Uh, it's a good job it doesn't have batteries in so they won't corrode but yeah make sure you use the right screwdriver otherwise you're going to ruin the uh, the thread there of the top of the screw so it takes three triple a batteries which obviously go in that section there and then you pop in the uh, compartment back on and then to screw it back in there so we put the batteries in and as usual uh, just a quick thing you do have the switch on the back bottom there so you would put that on click it in and then obviously you've got this pressure point there so when you ever put it down and then lift it up that's going to then give you the TARDIS FX uh, light and sounds And the light will keep flashing for about a minute afterwards. And then if you put the pressure point, put it back down. It's going to give you the landing effects. That's unusual actually because usually the light keeps flashing for quite some time after uh, it's finished its landing sound so uh, that's quite different that yeah the light just goes straight off hmm, okay so there you go there's the TARDIS it looked really good and a nice addition to your collection So just a quick comparison of the current First Doctor TARDIS set that you can get from B&M to the original one that was released by Forbidden Planet. Uh, as you can see, they use a similar kind of, obviously, um, base structure there, but the top of the roofs are completely different. This one is more accurate to actually how it appeared in the show. And obviously got the nice aged um, panel there. Again, like I said, the St. John's Ambulance there. This is more like, uh, like it, obviously you knew it, it's a darker colour. Um, got a lot of criticism of this one when it first got released because they said, oh, it's not, it's not accurate at all. Uh, and I can see where they're coming from. But... Um, you know it does kind of like the job i might obviously have this as the replacement uh because it is more accurate to the first doctor's tardis but as you can see there you've got the uh, complete st john's ambulance uh, badge on there uh, and a cleaner uh panel with everything on there which is accurate to how 
that panel first appeared in the very uh, first season. So there's a comparison there of obviously, you know, uh, the TARDIS sets. Like I say, this one is particularly hard to get hold of now and, uh, and is not as screen accurate as this one. And just for comparison, here we have some other FX TARDISes. Now, obviously, this is the first Doctor One that we're reviewing currently. This was the special edition exclusive to characters website only that sold out absolutely more or less within hours. That's the second Doctor version from the Abominable Snowman. The first appearance of the Yeti, and as you can see, that has a yellow light and a much flatter roof because um, this roof uh, got damaged over time and then they just started using a flatter baser roof uh, along into production and that roof more or less kind of like stayed into the third and fourth doctors eras and then over here we've got the 13th doctors tardis which Again, uses kind of like the same base, but obviously a different type of roof, different detail in here, and is obviously accurate to how the prop appears in the show and has the more um, lamp style blue light at the top there. And this one was available in, I think, Forbidden Planet and uh, Argos and also some other stores as well. So there you go. There's a collection of TARDISes. But this is hitting uh, B&M stores now. Like I said, if you're very, very quick or if you keep checking the website, there is the opportunity to also order it online. So highly recommended. Well, thank you for watching. And if you did like that video, then please leave us a like. It really does help out the channel. And also, if you have not yet subscribed, hit that subscriber button and that notification bell to be notified whenever we upload any brand new videos. In the meantime, once again, thank you very much for all your support with the channel. We have still some cool videos coming up. But in the meantime, I will say stay safe, take care, and we'll see you soon on Be The Geek Toy Review. Bye now. Whatever you decide, good luck, Doctor. Thank you. Notified of when we upload any new.